Hi everyone, Frank Moore here and there's another video for you today for the 28th of February and I'm going to get right in as I scroll down here, right into what's going on between Iran and, and Israel and some of the things that I've warned in the past and forgive me about scrolling down here but I need to get to the area that I'm going to be addressing. And so when you go to my website, you're going to see a video here of some of the warnings that I've given in the past telling the people that nobody is going to come to the aid of Israel and the European Union, the UN, or no one is going to stop Iran's quest to get the bomb because Iran has said over and over again they're never going to stop. And Ahmadinejad, the leader, the president of Iran, has made it very, very clear that he wants to waste Israel. He wants to destroy Israel. So I've given many warnings over the years uh, about this. Now, one of the warnings that I put up was from 2010. I did put this up in a video. And then I go down about 2012, and I give you some other warnings. Now, in those warnings, I do say, uh, and you can start this warning from the video, and I put, I set it right here, about the 14 minute and 30 second or 33 second mark in the video you could start listening to it there some of my warnings that I've given to you. but what I want to bring after you watch the video or you listen to the warnings or you read the warnings I want to show you what uh, an influential leader one of the leaders from uh, Israel just stated today because it's it goes on along exactly what I've been warning about and this is February the 28th and Lieberman West stands down as Iran races towards the bomb all right so let me just this is a picture of uh, Lieberman it says the world has been retreating in the face of Iran's rush towards the nuclear weapons capability to foreign affairs and defense committee chair Agavor Ligerman said on Thursday, talks held this week in Kazakhstan between Iran and the world powers revealed a great compromise on part of the West and a hardening of stances from Tehran, Lieberman told the Army Radio, noting he spoke for himself and not for the government. The Iranians are racing toward the bomb and the powers are withdrawing and looking for a way to con contain it. Now Lieberman decried a proposal to ease sanctions against Iran. I mean, this is, you know, at a time when they're trying to stop Iran's quest for it, they should be uh, giving more sanctions and doing whatever they can, but that's not what's happening, that's what he's addressing. If it is drastically sh uh, slowed or stopped, it's uranium enrichment program. It's clear to everyone that the Iranians don't intend to halt their efforts. And this is what I've been warning for years. To, to reach nuclear capability, he said. The reactors at the Parchin and the other locations are working in full stream without any, without any International Atomic Energy Agency observer being allowed to visit. A former foreign minister pointed to the example of North Korea, which continues to conduct nuclear experiments despite tough international sanctions. At the end of the day, the enlightened world doesn't want to confront extremists, he said. And I've been warning this uh, for, the, for years. It prefers to stand down and search for complex diplomatic solutions instead of striving for victory and teaching them a, a lesson once and for all. Now, asked about Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's November speech at the UN, in which he said in the spring of 2013 would, that could mark the last chance to stop Iran from reaching nuclear weapons capability, capacity, Lieberman said, there is no debate regarding the timeline Iran is on, but there are different opinions when it comes to deciding on the best course of action. And so it goes on and on and on. And why am I giving you this? Because we know that Iran is going to be facing confrontation with Israel. No doubt about it, Ezekiel chapter 38 shows us there that they are going to align themselves, Iran is going to align, align themselves with Russia to attack Israel. And Israel 
is under the gun to stop Iran. There won't be anybody else who's going to do it. And again, I continue to warn the same thing that Lieberman said. I've been warning that. And we should be watching what's going on between these two countries because it's obvious that the, uh, the prophecy about the Ezekiel prophecy is going to come into play here. And I believe that this is where God's curse is going to be poured out on Iran. And all the rest of those nations who come against Israel will burden themselves over Israel, as Zechariah 12.3 says. And uh, so just keep your eyes on the news. Watch what's going on. Because we are living in a time where we're seeing all kinds of prophecies being fulfilled. God bless.